Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of DI We'll See. Today we're building an elevated dog bed that looks like part of your bed. Today's project. So we have a, a pretty cool bed and it's a decent size. And our dogs sleep in bed with us. Say whatever you want. I don't care. Some people are anti that, but they're my babies. That's where they sleep. Um, and we have three small ones, which are totally fine in, in the bed. But then we have this monster right here. And she has a tendency to overheat. Um, so you know how they have those beds that have a an elevated portion. So it's like there's there's a part uh, of a bed, a dog bed that's attached to the human bed. And I'm sure I'll find a picture attached to this video. Um, but I want to build something like that and make it look like it's part of our bed and have it so that it's elevated off the floor and, and aerated so that she can still sleep at our level and with us on our bed, but not, not get so hot at night. So I'm going to try to do that quickly. Um, these, these things that I have, I, I bought four legs at Home Depot that are, um, or Lowe's that, uh, that are just regular legs and they screw into the top and I'm going to build a ramp that goes up to it. So it's easier for her to jump to get up there. And this is the ramp. And then I have just, um, regular boards here. They're not super thick. I just about, what is that? Like half inch, an inch thick. And, um, also this, I'm hoping to put two of these together to create the bed that will allow air to get up through. And then I had these, if you remember our plank wall, I have these left over. And there are some white ones in here, and I'm hoping to use those for decorative purposes, just to incorporate it more into our into our bed. Um, so that is the plan. This is the first part that I'm working on. The idea is to get these pieces of wood into a shape that's going to be supportive, and then have the chicken wire. Um, in between it and leaving these these holes in there so that's what allows the air to come in and then Mira I bought this it's pretty thin but it's still gonna be comfortable enough for her to lay on and keep it soft um, and then this lays over the top of it so you're gonna have the air coming up through and that's that's the idea that's kind of what I'm going for all right I got my chicken wire cut to match the exact shape and size and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to staple gun the chicken wire to the bottom pieces of board. And then I'm going to lay the rest of the boards on top of it and screw them all together. So that way, the reason I'm using the chicken wire is because if she steps in the middle, I don't want her to fall through or a leg to fall through, um, provided the bed's not there and it's being washed or whatever. Um, and it's just extra support. So. That is the plan. Staple gun the chicken wire and then screw all the boards together and then start the assembly process of the bed. So that's done. Very simple. And like usual, I'm sure professionals everywhere are cringing. So now I take my pre-made legs. Yes, I cheated and bought the pre-made legs. They just, and I'm going to drill into here and just screw it on. And I was thinking about adding some extra supports just because the legs are so tall, but that might be what these planks assist with. Them. Still working on the bed. I uh, just want to show you what I did. Reinforced 
It doesn't look great because it's still in progress, but I made the bed. It's, it's on its side right now. Um, and then I reinforced... I put, because I had some old pegboard lying around, between this leg and this leg, and then the bottom two legs, I put um, just pieces of pegboard to keep the legs kind of uh, in place and then add a little bit, something extra for me to attach the these extra pieces of wood. And um, now I'm putting it kind of on the inside because when it's sitting up, it, I want it to look like a nook for her to go in as well. So I just wanted to show you the progress. Now we are going to attach the ramp. As you can see, I've got two smaller blocks sawed at an angle. They are getting drilled into the top of the bed and that's what the ramp will sit on and get screwed into. Plus we make some additional supports sawed at the same angle and placed halfway down. Not exactly what I pictured, but I'm actually kind of happy with the way that it turned out. Here's the... It's supposed to look like it's part of that bed. The white is a little bit off, but it's all right. So here we have the upper bed. I'm going to put um, some sort of felt or something on the ramp so that it's easier for her to get up there as well as this is going to be tucked in a little bit more. I'm going to sew it so that it's a little bit more square and it doesn't hang over the edge. And then we have the little nook, which Dobby's already been taken advantage of with another smaller bed down there. So she has a safe place as well as her, her big girl bed. And like I said, this is, this is aerated. So I mean, this thick, not that much air is going to be getting up there, but it might be a little cooler than the mattress.